Okay, so we're going to implement gravity, um, starting as the monkey is going to fall by a constant rate. Um, and then we will uh, uh, implement it as acceleration, because the way gravity works is, like, if you, if you jump from a high distance, at first you start falling slowly, and then you fall much faster. Um, it accelerates. The velocity accelerates at a constant rate. Um, except for wind resistance, but that's more complicated than we need to get into. So let's create a variable. Let's call this fall speed. Okay. Um, we probably don't want to show that. Uh, when we start the game, we want to set it somewhere. So let's set our fall speed. Make sure to select fall speed. And we'll make it... Uh, minus 50 just to show what we're doing for the moment um, and then when we run our program each step of our game we want to move launch speed steps um, and we want to fall in the direction of y so uh, if we uh, so if we sh if we run it right now each step we want not only want to move in the direction we fired the monkey, but we want to drop in the direction of our fall speed. So how do we do that? Well, we can go to motion and we can say change y by something. Well, we want to change y by our fall speed. So get our variable, fall speed. Let's run this. And our fall speed is way too high, so immediately our monkey is falling off of the game. So let's make it minus 25. Try that. Oh, still too, too, too big. Try minus 10. Ah, so now you can see what happens. If I increase my launch, let's see. Oops. I would like to show my launch speed, but not my fall speed. Let's increase my launch speed to 20. And there so it's it's slowing it down uh it's a little hard to see but again it doesn't really look like gravity because it's just a, it's just a constant tug downwards whereas gravity accelerates as you as you fly through the air so uh we would like to start our fall speed actually off at zero and what we're going to do is we're going to uh we're going to create a new variable called gravity and this is just going to be a constant number that we can play around with. Um, so we will set uh, we'll set it at the beginning of our game. Let's make it minus 0.2. And now we, we, we still want to fall by fall speed, right? But we want to change our gravity. So let's go to uh, operators change. So we want to change fall speed by gravity. So each iteration we're going to of the game as you move, you're going to start falling faster and faster. Let's try running that. Let's shoot it up. Let's try increasing our launch speed. Oops. So one thing we notice is that the game, when we start the game, it does not reset the fall speed. So we need to take this out here and place that in here. Um, so let's run that again. Oh, and that looks pretty much like gravity. 